In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can code your very own warned command for your Discord bot using discord.js. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before this video starts, I would like to say that I did make a Discord bot. Um, as you can see here, it was released yesterday, um, the uh, 24th, and it already is in 20 servers. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could... Um, uh, add it. The link is in the uh, description below. Add it to your servers and upvote it on the bot listing sites that I leave in the uh, description below. It really does help me out if you guys can add the bot to your servers. It's a moderation bot um, with essential moderation commands as well as some fun commands. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, please check that out. Um, without further ado, let's jump right into the actual coding. Alright, so where we left off last, we did an embed tutorial. Um, if you guys want to see more of that stuff, um, leave a comment. Um, but let's go ahead and start. So we're going to go ahead and title it warn command. And then we can do if command equals 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 um, warn. Uh, then we can open that up. And then we can actually start with our permissions. Um, so what we're going to want to do first is we're going to do uh, if argument uh, zero you can also do args it depends on what variables you made uh, but i made arguments and i also made args so i can really do either um then you can do return message dot channel dot send uh you must specify someone in this command so uh this will make it so you have to actually uh mention somebody in this command or mention something in this command um, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is, above this, um, I would recommend doing it above. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually define members, so we can do const member equals message dot mentions dot members dot first, and then we can also do message dot guild dot members dot cash dot git argument zero. Um, and this is a pretty long variable, but this will make it so we can uh, actually get the ID as well. So then we can uh, do the two lines again. We can do message.guild.members.cache.find. Uh, we can do x arrow function x arrow function x dot user dot dot username. Sorry about my bad typing. Dot two lower case. Again, capitals matter um, in code, so make sure you're actually uh, capitalizing it properly. So then we can do equals 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 argument dot slice zero and then we can do dot join uh empty uh string right there and then we can do the two lines again x dot user dot username equals 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 arguments uh brackets zero and we can actually go ahead and close that variable off one mistake that i did make is right here um you're gonna go ahead and actually remove that and just add the parentheses back there um, and once you've done that, that will work. Um, so this is what it should actually look like. It should just be, uh, should be like this. And then, uh, just like that. So now we're going to actually define our permissions. I would recommend, uh, honestly, you can do what you want, but I'm just going to go with kick members. So we're going to do, uh, if exclamation mark message dot member dot permissions dot has, and then we can do, uh, kick members. Um, so that means the role uh, that the moderator has must have kick members um, enabled. You can make this whatever you want, but I'm just going to go with kick members. Um, again, I would recommend, you know, customizing it. So whatever you want. So now we can do return message dot channel dot send. And then we can do you do not have permission. Sorry, permission to execute this command. Um, so then we can also define one more permission, um, actually we'll do a few more, um, but we can, um, do if message.guild.me.permissions.has, and then we can do kick members one more time, we can do return message.channel.send, and then we can do I don't have permission to warn people. So that will just, um, this will make it so if the bot, um, the bot's role physically doesn't have permissions, uh, if it doesn't have the kick member's permission, um, then it will display this message. Um, but if you added your bot to the server and you granted it administrator or whatever, then this shouldn't be a problem, but we're going to add that just in case. Okay, so we'll do two more. So we can do if message.member equals 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 um, member. And then we can do return message dot channel dot send you cannot warn yourself 
Uh, so that will basically make it so if you try to um, warn yourself, you won't be able to. Alright, so we can do one more permission um, set here. So we can do if, um, we can do member.kickable, uh, kickable, then we can do return message.channel.send, and then we can do I cannot kick this user. This is either because they're higher than me or, well, I cannot kick this user. They... I cannot kick this user as they have permit perms over me. So basically, um, if the person is a server owner or um, something like that, uh, this will um, kick in because you don't want to you don't want your um, moderators or your staff to be warning admins or something like that. But you can remove this if you some for some reason don't want that. But you know I'm gonna leave that in there. Okay, so now we can actually go ahead and define the reason. And now that we have finished all of our um, permissions right here so we can do uh let's reason equals argument dot slice one dot join and then empty string outside of that we can do uh, the two lines and then we can do no reason given uh you can customize this message but i'm gonna do no reason given uh, make sure to do control save to save your work all right so now we can actually go ahead and uh make two embeds so the first one is going to be the dm message uh, so this message will basically be sent to people when they are warned directly to their DMs. And then the other message that we're going to create is the message that would be sent in the channel. Um, so what we can go ahead and do is we can do a const DM embed equals new message embed. If you haven't um, learned about embeds yet and you don't have embed set up, I would recommend going ahead and watching the previous video. It's very short and easy. All you have to do is define it. Um, but if you don't do that, you won't be able to do this. Um, so just go watch the previous video real quick and then come back. Um, so then we can do set description and then we can do, uh, I'm going to do white check mark because that's kind of like a, a check mark um, emoji. So it will look pretty good. White check mark and then we can do uh, you were warned i'm gonna bold this in and then we can go ahead and open this up and we can do message dot guild dot name and then we can uh go over here and we can open that up again and we can do reason um and then we can go ahead and set a color so we can do set color um we can change this to blue uh you can customize this to whatever you want but this honestly i found uh looks the best so we'll just go with that and we can set one more embed um, so this embed will actually be the embed that gets sent in the channel. So what we can do is const embed equals new message embed. And then we can do set description. And then this description will be, uh, again, a white check mark. Um, and then we can do uh, member.tag has been warned. We can bold that. And then we can do um, reason. Uh, so this will look pretty good. Then we can go ahead and actually set a color. And then blue, just like that. Um, so our embeds are ready. Now we can actually go ahead and send both of these messages. Uh, so this is very simple. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do message.channel.send. And then we'll go ahead and do our first embed. Um, if I can even open this up, we can do embeds. And then our first embed, or we'll actually send the um, channel embed first. So that will be the embed variable. Then we can go down here. We can do um, member dot send and then we can actually go ahead and uh do embeds and then inside this we can do our dm embed variable um and just like that we have uh finished uh what we are going to want to do is we're going to want to actually um code a console.log because sometimes uh people within the server have their dms off um and if we don't do this then there will be errors so we're we're going to go ahead and actually code console.log so we can do catch uh right here we can do catch error equals or uh equals function or error function uh then we can do console.log this user has their dms off so what this is going to do is if the user has their dms off it will send a message to the console or the terminal and it will say this uh message right here um and then it will just simply not send the message to their dms um and nothing else will happen uh, so this is just so the bot doesn't crash. Um, very simple. 
All right, and that should be good for this command. We don't actually need any more uh, catch errors because it's pretty much just sending messages, sending embeds. Um, so that should be good. We can go ahead and restart the bot and test out this command. All right, so now that we're actually in our Discord server here, we can go ahead and try to warn ourselves. So we can do exclamation mark warn uh, me. Uh, that's my current account. And then we can do test. So as you can see, it says you cannot warn yourself. As you can see, it says you cannot warn yourself, which is the message that we displayed uh, right here. So now what we can go ahead and do is we can make a new role. Uh, we can call this perms. And then we can uh, simply give this admin. All right, so now uh, on my main account, I can do warn. Um, I can try to warn him or the other account. And then we can do test. And then as you can see, it says you do not have permission to execute this command. Uh, so if I give my um, main account the perms role, and then I try it one more time. As you can see, it says I cannot warn this user as they have perms over me. So all our commands um, or all our um, uh, if statements are working properly. So now what we can go ahead and do is actually warn uh, my main account. Um, so we can do warn my main account and then test i just realized that i'm gonna have to actually remove my perms because the same error message will kick in all right so i did make a little error in the code just go ahead and remove a uh, tag um right there and then this should actually work so we can go ahead and restart the bot all right so once the bot has been restarted we can actually do warn my main and then test one more time and as you can see it says um my main has been warned um and then as you can see if we pull up in my main here I know I, I tried this a lot of times, but this is the most recent message, and it says you were warned in bot testing server for a uh, test, as you can see right there, um, and it works every time. Uh, so if I'll, I'll try a new message, um, being bad, and then as you can see on my uh, main account, um, it says you were warned for being bad. Um, so that's pretty much how uh, this actually works. If this worked for you, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If it didn't, um, leave a comment or join the uh, help server in the description below, and I'll be able to help you out with that. Um, also, please, please, please um, add my Discord bot to your server and uh, upvote it in the um, listing, the Discord listing site in the description below as well. Uh, that would be very appreciated. We're trying to get it verified. It's a moderation bot. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.